of the Monday Morning Show. I'm Noah. And I'm Ashley. And we are your hosts. We cannot wait to tell you what's going on at Freedom Village this week. We have lots of fun things. We do. But before we do that, I would love to hear about your weekend, Ashley. I had a great weekend. Did you have a great weekend? I did have a great weekend. Revolving around my little, not so little, your well, passion project. My passion project. <laughs> Yes, tell no. Me more. My daughter had her snowball this weekend. Oh, how fun. So we got her all dressed up for that, looking gorgeous, so grown Aww. up. Speaking of grown up, today is her 15th birthday. Happy birthday, Bella! Happy birthday, Bella! We spent the weekend Woo. celebrating that as well. Nice. And then, yes, my passion project did come into play this weekend. I made lots of sourdough treats. Nice, good. Yes, how was your weekend? My weekend was also very good. Uh, didn't do a whole lot. Had a, a casual, restful weekend, so it was nice, really relaxing nice. weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's good. We need great. those sometimes. We really do. <laughs> well, today is the third Monday in February. Do you know what that means? No. So the third Monday in February is always President's Day. Oh, it's a holiday. It's we a holiday. Be working. Oh. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Uh, every February, third Monday is President's Day. Celebrate all the men and hopefully someday women that have served as president. You know, that's all good. I never well. realized that it was the third Monday. So I, I did some research and I learned some things about this. I that it started as George Washington's birthday. Okay. And then throughout the years, they're like, let's make this be all presidents. Let's celebrate President's Day. And then it morphed into this and it still was George Washington's birthday. And then it morphed into this bill put forth by like the labor union and somewhere else to make all these holidays be on Mondays for three day weekends to keep employee morale up. Oh. And so then it morphed into the third Monday. Interesting. Yeah, in like the 60s or 80s or hmm. sometime in the last hundred years. Interesting. Yeah, I Never thought so. Have guessed. But speaking of interesting, you know, I love a good me? trivia fact here. I love that you love that. So do you know? Do I know? Probably don't. What the youngest president ever inaugurated was? Nope. Do you know how old you have to be to be president? Isn't that like 35 or 35. something? 35. Teddy Roosevelt was only 42 when he became president. Hmm. That's Which means I'm getting so close to being able to be president. Yeah. Well, yeah. I could be president. You could be president. I could not. Hmm. They don't think I'm a fully formed human yet. <laughs> Interesting. I shouldn't be president. Let's not do that. <laughs> Neither should I. So I guess we'll put that on hold. Oh, so shoot. he was only 42. Wow. Yeah. That's very On good. the opposite end of things, do you know who the oldest president to be inaugurated was? Mm -mm. Our current president. Ah, I had a feeling. Yeah. But I wasn't going to say So it. he was inaugurated <laughs> at 78. Here's an interesting fact. If Donald Trump wins the election this year, he will also be inaugurated at 78. So tying for the oldest... And if Joe Biden wins, then he'll just set the new record for he'll himself just keep again. It going so up. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. Cool. Other thing. What else do you know? There is a one foot difference between the shortest president and the tallest president. That's it. That's a lot. It'll seem like more. So the shortest president is James <laughs> Madison at five four. Yeah, he's a short guy. That's a tiny little man. Mm -hmm. Now. And so the tallest president was six. Six four, four which is a tall man. Hmm. You're Abraham right. Lincoln might have been Absolutely. right up your alley. He would have been. <laughs> and imagine when he had that hat on. He oh was like seven God, feet so tall. tall, man. So that's my trivia I got I, for thank you. Thank you so much You're for sharing my trivia with me. I feel learned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's great. I feel a little smarter now. You're Hopefully welcome. you do too. Happy President's Day, everybody. Uh, I think we should talk about our week. Maybe. I think that's why they're here. I think that's what they care about. Uh, today, we're doing nothing. Well, we're not doing nothing. Some people are gone to Grand Rapids for the day. Yes, we are on a Grand Rapids day trip. I am on the bus at this moment. Whoa. How are you in two places at once? Whoa. So hopefully everyone who went on that trip enjoys their day. Yes, and we'll be celebrating some presidents, actually, on President's Day. What good planning, Noah. I'm proud of you. <laughs> who did that? <laughs> 
Uh, but tomorrow we have a couple of fun things going on. There is line dancing in the gym at two o'clock. And then once you've gotten your fill of dancing, you can come up to the auditorium at 3 p.m. for a super fun social, our winter luau. Ooh. So wear your Hawaiian gear, put your lays on, and be ready to tip me with the way to an island paradise. We're gonna have lots of fun. We could all use a little island paradise in the middle of February. Especially after it got so cold this weekend. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, it was 16 degrees on Saturday. That is cold. So cold. <sighs> What's going on tomorrow? Looking to tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the auditorium. We have our menu meeting, so you get to sit down with Terry and all the members of the management dining team and talk about what's been going on up there. And at 11, you can just stay in the auditorium. Stay there we are then. continuing our lessons in chemistry series. So two episodes from that. At 2 p.m., we have musical reminiscing in the atrium, and there might be some special songs to sing Is there today. a special singer to There that might day? be a singer as well, joining John Bryson on piano. So that will be wonderful. And what else do we have? At 3 o'clock in the Arts and Crafts Room, we have our monthly low vision support group. So whether you're low vision or your spouse is, you can learn how to navigate that path. And at 4.45 to finish out the day, we are going out for dinner. Ooh, I love to go out for dinner. Me too. We are hopping on the bus and heading over to Crazy Horse Steakhouse for a delicious dinner. Sounds great. There's a few slots left, so sign up in Touchtown if you're interested. Perfect. Thursday night, we have Kyle Shippa joining us for another travel log. He always does such a great job. He really does. Yeah, he's very, very informational and entertaining. Wonderful. And on Friday, to finish out our week, we are going to get sad. Hmm. But then we'll get happy because we'll be fighting sad seasonal affective disorder on our weekly sad walk Friday at 2 p.m. See where we go this time. Stay on the snow melt. Stay on so the snow So whether it's snowy or not, we're Doesn't heading out. Matter. We're get the fresh air. Grave in the elements. It's great. Well, that sounds like a great week. Sure does. Uh, for today's special segment, we're going to jump in the time machine. <gasps> take a little... <laughs> <laughs> a little trip back in time and because Mary Porter, resident Mary Porter, mm -hmm. has her art show going on up in the auditorium right now, we are going to jump back to a previous segment where she took us through her apartment and showed off her creations and her talents. Perfect, let's do it. Today we have Mary Porter, a fairly new resident to Freedom Village, as our special guest. Um, Mary, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I uh, am enjoying it here. I think it was a good move for me. I have lived since the fifty seven since fifty seven in Holland, so I knew quite a few people here, and discovered people like old neighbors I didn't realize were here. Oh, really? And that was fun. And I heard a rumor that someone that was pretty well known at Freedom Village was also a former supervisor of yours. Oh, you mean my boss? Yes. I uh, worked for 17 years at Hope College as an administrative assistant to Bob DeYoung, who was the vice president for development mm -hmm. at time, meaning uh, fundraising and college relations and so that sort of thing and I enjoyed that too I met a lot of nice people nice so Mary I think that you are most well known as being an artist at well, least that's that, what I've heard about you well yes I've been drawing and painting all my life and um, Although I went to Purdue, which has no art school, I did major in much of that. After that, I took uh, some courses at the University of Cincinnati and the Cincinnati Art Academy. And over the years, I've had workshops with uh, nationally known artists, meaning you go for a week and sort of immerse yourself in their style of painting and learn from those people. One of those was Del Michael, mm -hmm. who was on the faculty at Hope College, and he became, a f he and his wife are friends of mine now. And, um, and then I learned over the years, I um, did not have a career in art, although I 
taught individuals from time to time. You did art lessons? And after I, uh, I was divorced, I, was, I had to go to work. And I worked um, uh, first at Herman Miller as an administrative assistant to the vice president for international. So that was an interesting job. Mm -hmm, I bet. Then he was transferred to England and I couldn't go along. So I found a job at Hope College and uh, retired from that job in 1995. So then I was able to paint more and during those years, I was in the art gallery, lucky to be in art galleries uh, in Saugatuck and here, hmm. Holland. Not now, at the present. Also, I entered competitions, and I have been in, oh, perhaps 50 to 75 shows. Wow. Juried competitions and have won some prizes. Wonderful. So. Are you still painting today? I am not a lot in, in my retirement, my late retirement years, like now, not so much, but I'm trying to get back at it. I have a few things on the drawing board right out here, right out here now and a few things on display at Freedom Village, currently in the um, auditorium. Of the, for the flower display? Yes. Yes. So and one of them is not a flower, but they took it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're not too fussy. We just want to see your beautiful artwork. Yeah. Speaking of, you have some of your own artwork around your apartment? Uh, everything in this room except one. <laughs> could you show us around and we could well, see what you got? So I don't do just one type of art. This is an acrylic. I think there are three other paintings under it, but I paint it over. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you often paint over paintings? Oh, not every once in a while. A great big one like that, I'm never quite satisfied. There's another one out here on the, uh, in out. the porch, on the porch or whatever we want to call it. Uh, well, it's to your left. Uh, oh, as a big bird. And I think there's some other paintings under that one too. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. One I did in the Caribbean when I went on St. Croix one time, and it was just a view, just a wonderful memory mm -hmm. of being uh, uh, near the sea. What a great way to capture your travels, though, mm -hmm. with your own creations. I probably had too much of the purpley blue paint on my leftover palette from doing something else, so I started dabbing at it and adding to it, and that's about how that grew. Nice. What about these up here? Well, I just finished that uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it's called un an unfolding, and I don't know why it's unfolding golf tees, but uh, and why they needed unfolding. <laughs> Are you a golfer? No. Oh, okay. And this is a collage type. That's a collage just cut out. I entered that in the, the local um, Tulip Time poster mm. this year, but they didn't want that one. Okay. Although for Four other times I was in the top 20. I was wondering that if you had been in, entered for the tulip time before. In, my, in the living room here, when I did a series of fans, uh, and I also have some fans that are not framed, and they're in my flat file, which, which holds uh, paper and some other artwork. And so just to pick up on doing a few things, I just finished that little fan and I'm working on this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you there's see, the fans, yes. That's called a deco fan, you know, art deco fan. Mm hmm I can like fixing the rug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about these two? These are um, acrylic and some collage and I did a series of 
oh, about six. And I called them intersections. So they could be sort of futuristic maps mm -hmm. of, an, of intersections or roads. This is really cool. What was your inspiration for this piece? The inspiration was a, a, an earlier painting that I had done using uh, palm fronds, which is more was a picture of an, an, an egret, very realistic, uh, which involved palm fronds. And I guess this was one of the later ones that I did. And I could just call this palmation because I couldn't think of a word. <laughs> <laughs> that what, works. What, what to name it. But uh, it's beautiful. I kept it and I liked it for myself. So this piece, if you want to photograph, yeah. I made with the edge of an old credit card. <laughs> I moved, I poured liquid acrylic on there and just moved things around. And it turned out to look like corn. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, that's just a casual little piece called rag flowers. I did my own children. Mm. This little in in pastel. Okay, so we've seen pastel, we've seen watercolors, we've seen acrylics, we've seen cross stitch, collage. Collage. Yeah. Is there any medium you don't like to use? Are you open to trying oh, I'm anything? I'm open to everything. I use colored pencils and markers and ink. I love that. So many people stick to one one area and they don't branch out. Yeah. It's really cool to I, see all I the different. I would love to use oils again, but I just want to uh, invest in, in a bunch of oils and make a mess. Yeah. But anyway, this is a watercolor and I call it the cat, the bird, and the hidden fish. So if I look closely, I'm going to find a cat, a bird, and a fish in here? Well, I hope you do. Let's see here. This is just a fantasy. You do see the horse, the unicorn. I was going to say, is that a unicorn? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You can even photograph the lady in my kitchen. I don't mean you, <laughs> The lady, but then the other lady. No, she's, she's hanging on the... Oh, she's so talented. She is so talented. If you haven't made it up to the auditorium yet to see her art show, make sure you do that sometime this month because there are just a lot of really great pieces up there. I mm -hmm. find something new every time I go in. It's great. It is great. I love it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that has been our week. Thank you for spending another Monday morning with us. We're glad to have you. That's Noah. And that's Ashley. And this has been Monday Morning. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.